right, watch friends. I got another watch. I mean, I don't know what you were expecting. Once I opened one, uh, I opened these up and it was uh, two outlets. <laughs> but I didn't know. Okay. Oh, that's a... Um... Oh, I've seen this logo before. Can't remember. Nope, I haven't. Okay. Dominator Del Mar. Del Mar A. Del Mar is just... Oh. That's nice. With Sapphire to boot. All right. All right, guys. So this is the uh, Demonitore del Mar. Or Mer, I suppose. Um, this is the Bergamani. And it's a nice watch. It's a nice watch. Uh, I like it. I'm impressed by it. It's uh, kind of simple. It looks kind of like a dive watch. Um, but uh, I suppose it really isn't. And we'll sort of go into that. Um, MSRP listed at the top. I think I already forgot. It's not incredible. Um, I think I paid $118 for it. So it's nice. I got what it's worth. Um, this watch feels, this watch feels like a, being totally honest, feels like a $125 watch, maybe $150. I'll say $125 to $150. That's what it feels like. Um, 316 stainless steel, solid lengths, good solid size. I like the, uh, you know, it is stamped there. Which you know I don't like. I like the billet ones, but it is still sort of that better one. It's not the the snap in. It's you know at least has the buttons, so I do like that. Um, it's not a keeper for me. It does have a really good look to it, and I think there are four total. And I will cycle through those on the right as I'm talking about this. Um, so there are, you know couple different kinds and another thing I do also like about it if you can see I like that the end links are solid it always bothers me when they have end links that are um, you know just stamped and kind of pushed in there because you end up getting it never fits that well and as they start to stretch a little bit over time they start to really wear and uh, that was pretty common for a while and I would say a lot of the Vengers most of the Vengers that I used to get would also have that uh, they were not solid and that used to kind of bother me um, and Vanger does a really good job of having really good high quality watches but their bracelets are garbage I mean I just have to admit their their their, their bracelets really just are are not good quality they're they're garbage and i usually end up replacing them unless it's leather uh, but this is good quality um, the crystal is a hardened middle mineral crystal it is however three layer sapphire coated just like a uh, venger and some of the others that you often see uh, it is a very attractive face and i will try and zoom in and put a picture up there so that you can kind of see it looks like where it's not distorted by the by the uh, the ring light, but it is very nice. Um, you know, of course, the names everywhere. It's on the face. It's on the crown. It's uh, also there, uh, and of course, really big on the back. Um, so, first thing you'll notice about this is the date. So the date goes counterclockwise. Right now, it is showing that today is the 5th, uh, which it is. And, and that's okay. You know, that's, that's just how, how you do it. Um, I think when you look at the actual date wheel, because of the movement that it's using, and I'll go into that later, the actual date wheel does go in that direction, but you don't know that. You don't notice that. You just see it. It's normally on the right at the 3 o'clock location, and it basically just tells you what the day, uh, what the date is. But in this case because it shows the whole wheel, it's going around and I don't know, I guess I kind of don't really understand the point, but it's different. Uh, it does have a rotating bezel. It's pretty good. I can't remember how many clicks, but I will put that at the top 
um, but it is it is decent bezel. Although um, that then goes into the point, like why does it have a rotating bezel? Because it's not a dive watch. Uh, and you ask, well, why can't you dive with it? So it is a five ATM, five bar, fifty meter water resist. So that's not something you're really going to go swimming in. Uh, my honest opinion. You don't really go swimming with something that has, um, I really think 100 meters is pretty much something, you know, where you, you need a 100 meter watch if you're going to take it swimming. You just do. Um, this is 50 meters. It's still good. You could go swimming in it, right? I mean, you see in my chart there, you can swim in it. You can shower. Uh, 3 a.m., uh, 3 a.m. Is, is like barely acceptable. Uh, I don't even, I consider that like just, you know, splash resistant, but you could swim with this. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't take it in the pool. Um, I think they kind of failed on that. I really would have liked to have seen 100 meters, but I expect a lot um, from watches lately, but it is still a very attractive watch. It's a nice, it's a nice brand. It's a micro brand. Uh, this is a very attractive looking watch. Um, and it's a good Japanese movement, which we'll get into right here. I haven't opened it yet, but I will, and I'll update this before I post it. Um, but it's got uh, Japanese movement. So it is going to be reliable. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do the measurements. 41. Twenty, and let's say eleven and a half. Oh, I'm good. Look at that, eleven and a half. Well, you don't actually notice it's a little bit dish too. Sapphire coating. All right, now let's do the lug to lug. Forty-four. All right, not bad. Let's do the weight. I'm gonna guess eighty something. Let's see, I could be totally wrong. Okay, so I'm probably off. We'll say 135. 135. Okay. All right. Uh, loom. We want to check the loom. Oh, surprisingly, let's see if everything lights up. I don't know if it does. It does. Okay. So, you know, it redeems itself a little bit here because that is decent loom. Uh, like somebody said, it doesn't really take much to just light it up. I mean, how hard is it to just add some loom to the numbers? And there you go. And it's even on the second hand, which is a lot to say because there's some really good quality brands that don't even bother to do that. So this kind of, this definitely makes up for it. I will say that is a good, solid win there. So, all right. Well, let me know what you think of this watch in the comments. And uh, I think the bell, if you want to hit that, but uh, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. I don't, I never hit it. That just, just drives me nuts. But please subscribe. Really appreciate it. And give me a like if you want to see more videos. Thank you.